everyone, Petal is Bless here. I'm coming on here today to share with you guys my abstract painting that I'm going to attempt to do. There's a wall in my hallway that um, has nothing on it and I wanted to get a painting to put on it. I've been searching in the stores and everywhere I go the paintings are very expensive. And I'm, you know, a diva on a budget. <laughs> um, so I have decided to say I'm going to try this abstract painting and hopefully it turns out good. And um, yeah, so come along with me. <laughs> so these are the paints that I bought. They're acrylic paints. I bought them in the Dollar Tree. I bought this one here, which is like a, a silver. It says silver morning. And then I got the spun gold. And I also got this orange one here. I have orange in my decor. I might put it in the painting. I'm not sure. And I got this beige color one here. And I got some white also. Now these small ones I didn't get from Dollar Tree. I got them from Dollarama. And they're a metallic. And this one also I didn't get at Dollar Tree. I got it from Dollarama. But it's a sparkle one. They had them at Dollar Tree too, which I didn't pick it up. So when I went to Dollarama, I picked them up at Dollarama since I forgot at Dollar Tree. And like I said, those ones I got from Dollar Tree. And these three I got from Dollarama. Okay, I got the canvas from um, a paint shop in my area. I paid $10 for it. It's 16 by... Um, 18 and um, I got the, these paint brushes that we also need this is a thick one and I also have a slim one to make smaller strokes you'll need a paper plate <laughs> a container for water for washing your brushes some paper towel to dry your brush and I'm using some plastic gloves because I don't want to get paint on my nails. <laughs> Alright everyone, let's get started. Okay, I'm starting with the silver paint. And you just make um, brushes going up and down in any pattern, any form you like, anywhere on the canvas. And we're going to add each color the same way and just blend them in together. Okay, everyone, I would like to give a big shout out to one of my subscribers. Her name is Michelle. I was in the Dollar Tree this morning when I was buying these paints. And she came up to me and she said hello. So I'd like to say a big shout out to you, Michelle. And thank you so much for being one of my subscribers. All right, everyone. Recognize you. Rub, rub, recognize, rub. And 
If he ain't claiming you, girl, you know you better give him me. Okay, here I went back in with more um, white and silver tone, silver paint, because I didn't like how it was coming out too brown. So it's the nice thing about abstract painting, you can go over and cover up what you don't like. <laughs> and here's the finished look. Okay, I went in with some, um, I added more glitter to the glitter paint, because the, gl the glitter paint that I have, it wasn't very shiny very glittery so i added some more glitter and let me show you what i did i took my small glitter particles see this is the glitter paint by itself so i added the small glitter particles to it mixed it together and then added it to the painting and now you can see the glitter much more better <laughs> All right, everyone, I get asked a lot what I use to hang my wall art. So this is what I use. It's the command strips. I get it from Walmart. I bought the value pack where you get four small ones and eight strips of big ones. You could buy the, the smaller packs. They come in different sizes. And there's instructions on the back to show you how to hang them up. Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm going to place them to hang up this wall art here. Okay, you take them out the pack, you take four, you have to use two at a time. So you separate them, put the two strips together, and then you squeeze them together. Now there's tape on both sides, but you're only going to take off one side. And tape it down to your painting. So I used four big ones and two small ones in the center for this painting. And once you've measured on your wall where you're going to place your painting, then you take the strips off the back that are left on and then you um, just stick it to the wall and press it in and you're all set. And this is the wall where I hung it on in my hallway at my front entrance. I like how the glitter just shines through. Okay everyone, I hope I've inspired you to do this abstract painting also. Use whatever colors you like. And I thank you for coming on to see my DIY that I did today. And remember as always, stay blessed from Petel is Blessed. Bye bye everyone.